Hey everybody, Dave Clark, aka The Pattern Guy. It's been a long time. Been having a lot of stuff going on in my life the last couple of years, unfortunately. Uh, a little bit of bad news. Everything's all right. My wife is diagnosed with breast cancer a few months ago. Um, we've been dealing with that. She's okay. She had a mastectomy. Um, she's doing really good. So um, that's one of the reasons why we've been away for a bit. So um, one of the things, I got lots of projects coming up, lots of things to do for people. Um, I just don't have uh, things going right now. So one of the things, I was looking through some old pictures and uh, found one of the first jobs that I ever did when I went into business for a pump company. And uh, it was a high speed or a high pressure double staged um, pump housing. So basically a lot of times in pattern making, you only get, in this case, I got the casting for it, okay? And then I got a drawing for the inside where they're gonna machine, you know, I got the sizes for where they're gonna need the machine and everything. But I kinda had to, uh, this job was gonna go up to a foundry in Canada. So what I ended up doing was, and I ended up making the, uh, the pattern and they made a fiberglass mold off of the pattern where the parting was going to be. And this aided me in making all the core sticks for it. And then it made sure that everything was going to go together when it went to the foundry up in Canada. Because there's no way I was going to be able to go back forth up and down there if uh, something was going wrong with it. So we'll show you all the uh, core sticks. Uh, I can't remember how many there were all together. I think there's like 14 of them all together. But it's kind of a cool thing. What we'll be able to do is um, show you basically um, once you get into the foundry, what happens in the foundry, okay? Uh, we do it with a small foundry, you know, that I have up in Cleveland. But this way, you know, it'll show you the core sticks and then you can see the shape developing on this one. This one's a real complex job. So that's why we kinda, you know, I kinda always kept this thing hanging around because I figured that it would be great for a demonstration model in that, but it's, uh, you know, kind of just dug it out the other day. It, it's been sitting there, some stuff that's cracked and everything on there, and it, it's dirty. So, but what I'll do is I'll start putting pieces together, and I'll show you how we end up with um, the different shapes in that. Okay. So what I did was, um, and this helped. I had to make a little. Um, when I was making this, I made keys on the core prints so that the foundry could locate which cores went where. But when I sent it up there, they, they were still a little baffled, you know. So it's kind of neat that I still had this. What I ended up doing was I used this, and then I put numbers on the core sticks and kind of built the mold for them. Took pictures, made like a little process sheet out of it to help them out. So here's what we did, okay. So here's my first core stick that I made for the first part. And you can see how, you know, this has got shape to it in here. On the outside, it's, it's you know, relatively square and that that's the core print off of the uh, pattern, okay? And then this inside section is actually the outside of the core, or outside of the uh, um, casting here. So I did put a notch on here so they would know, but like I said, they were still a little baffled of how this went together. So this was the first core that sets in. So, you know, pretend this is a big sand mold. That's a sand core. So that was the first core that goes in here. And you can see it starting to develop shape a little bit here. Then we ended up taking this one here. And same thing. It's a uh, square on the outsides in that. And... Uh, you know, you're not getting your shape, you're getting your shape on the inside here. All right, and, and I tell you one thing, this was a fun one for getting all your dimensions off. I really wish I could have done this one with you guys on YouTube, because this, this one was really, this was a trick pattern. So we set that up in there, and then you can see it's starting to round off, and then we got some, you know, different shapes on the outside here. So it's dusty. So here's the third one. Okay, and uh, 
This one here, you can see there's a, this is one of the exit, exit or entrance pipes. I'm not exactly sure which one that was. But this, we all had to make all these up here to make core boxes off. All these are core sticks. I made, like I said, a lot of times it's easier to make the males and then make the female core box off of the males. So that's kind of the way we did this. All right, and then this one gets set in. That's the third one. I got my fingers out of the way there. Like I said, these things aren't gonna fit in perfectly because this is this is probably, see I got into business in 07. I probably did this in about 08, I bet you. Somewhere around there. So there's that one there. Okay, that's the third one. Here's number four and five. And I gotta remember where I got these things from. This one I could see real easy, okay? So there's a whole big, core print for this and like i said sometimes there's uh core prints within the core prints okay so you can see this part right here so this is part in the core and it's going part in the mold also you know that's going to have something set in it all right so that's where it's it, this stuff gets kind of tricky you get you know cores that have to be set into cores and uh it's it's really fun to measure those things it, it truly is so this one number five okay this one i could see the key here and here again i got this basically that's that core print okay that's my locator that i got to set this in and this core uh key right here is set in the core it's part of the core all right so that sets in there uh, that's not exactly, oh, that's exactly where it goes, right there. All right, so you can see here, it's starting to take shape. You know, we're getting some uh, the outside round shape to this and uh, some of the elbows that's gonna come up. And as we get more and more cores in here, you're just gonna see it taking more shape, more shape, more shape. It's, uh, like I said, it's kind of glad I kept this stuff hanging around. Okay, so that was number five. So we can get number six. And then this, this one here truly is more, I mean, this is just like a core print that's just, it's all core print. It's not, um, this doesn't have anything to do with any of the shape on it, but I had to make this in order to locate the inside cores off of this, okay? And then I had to have a core print on the pattern, okay? There, cause there's no way I could have located the inner cores without having this and the core that goes on here next there is no way to make that core uh the it would have been the core box it would have been a hard time to make the core box you know with uh what's going to go on here next so this like i said it's pretty much all core there is a little bit of there is a little bit of a uh Part of the inside, basically the inside uh, had a um, hollow where the impeller went in, so that had to be machined out there. And that, so that's number six. Number seven. Now this one we're really starting to take a bit of shape too. Okay, so if you remember on that one that I just set in there, we had that key. So this is where that key is going to set into. That locates this core here. Okay, and then you can see we're starting to get into way more shape of this thing too. You know, this is, I can't remember if this is an entrance or exit. I believe this was the entrance uh, size so where all the water's coming in. I believe the water came in this one went around the inside and then usually it goes back out. But what this did was the water came in, circulated around the middle, then went up and out and around the outside, back in and then back out again. It, it was pretty cool. So this one was number seven. And then two, the way I'm putting these things in there, they're plastic, I'm not, you know, nothing's caving in. Literally, we would have had to have been really, really gentle in the foundry because this is all sand. We can't have it, you know, rubbing on each other here. Okay, but now you can really, really see the inside of this taking shape. So 
everything that's on the outside right here, that's the outside of the, uh, the casting, okay? All this stuff I'm gonna put in here is actually the inside of the casting, okay? So that's seven, we get number eight. Okay, so here's my number eight. So you can see the reason we had to make this part uh, uh, core. And then if you can see too, one thing I didn't mention is that this isn't a like a flat half, you know, cope half drag flat uh, parting. Okay, we had to make the parting offset all over this thing because of uh, just the way it had to be molded, okay? So this is like a downward offset here where, um, you know, we had to get the, this part of the outside shape, but we had to make this a core to make the outside shape. It couldn't be on the pattern because there's no way we'd be able to set the cores in here if, you know, this was part of the mold. This would be hanging down. There's no way to set that core in here, okay? So there's that part. And then, like, you, like I said, you can really see, you can really start seeing in here where, you know, the, the voids where the, the metal's going to fill up. I believe this was a stainless steel casting, if I'm not mistaken. So that's number eight. Number nine. Okay, here's number nine. All right, again, we got a key in here. We got a key on top of this core again. Okay, like I said, there's sometimes you got to put set cores on top of cores, right? So that sets in here, and here again, you're seeing even more, um, more of the uh, channels in that that this is making. It, it's really, uh, really a neat project. So that's number nine. Here's number ten. Okay, and here. This was, uh, I believe, where the uh, water went out the second time, I believe. But, you know, here again, this is the core. We've got another um, key here, okay, to locate where everything's going to go. Because there's just no core prints on the inside here. All right, so that's going on top of there. And then here again, it's just each core you put in, you can see, you know, more of a channel you know, coming through here. It's pretty cool. So then here, I got 11 and 12. All right, now these I think were part of the core where um, the water actually went out in around the outside of the uh, casting. This, These channels here were actually on the outside of this. So uh, I gotta remember where these things went. I can't remember how these things go. Okay, that's, that goes there, okay. And what we'll do is I'll get a camera over here and then we'll, we'll build this again so you can see each piece as we're, we're going along here. So I think I'm missing a part there. Eh, no, it's not, it's just the way it's set. Okay, there's that, and then the last one. This is the last one, this is where both the channels come out into one and uh, that one is broken the part of the core prints are taken off of there but yeah this one was uh i could have swore there was 14 cores to this looks like there's only 13 but it, it was a it was a little trick pattern to do um i had a good time making this thing like i said this was like one of the first jobs i had and a uh, real good customer of mine i love doing pump housings like i said i wish hugely that I was uh, doing this back then because you know those guys had some real neat jobs and it, one of the things I could you know tell you guys show you guys is you know where do I get my measurements you know for something like this you know and it that's where this is like huge experience um, you know to figure out how to get where all this stuff is and, and it's really important this stuff is uh, especially with the pumps of pump housing these things got to be super accurate because what happens is he's telling me this is a 13,000 gallon per minute pump and that's what he's selling to his customer and if i don't do this correctly and it only pumps 12,000 gallons a minute we're in trouble you know so these things got to be super accurate you got to really know what you're doing and uh this one 
not only was a uh, you know pattern making feet just you know we had basically had to engineer this whole thing so that was a that was a fun job i'm glad i got to share it with you so sorry for the long absence we're going to try to get some more videos out like i said we got some um tours coming up and everything and uh it's starting to rain out so i'm going to keep it real short here but uh hope you guys stick with me i really appreciate you uh hanging around try to get more videos out quicker like i said and uh with that everybody that has subscribed to the channel i appreciate it we've lost some see if we can gain a whole bunch back tell us about uh, us to your buddies and see if we can get a bunch of those um subscribers back and keep this stuff going all right until then everybody have a good one out there and most important be safe